subscribe to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Serena, hence the intro, hence the channel name. That's so Rena. You get it corny, I know, but that's just how we are here. Period. So usually, ignore the dishwasher. Usually, y'all see my regular intro, but you're not gonna see that because we're doing Vlogmas. So welcome back to another episode of Vlogmas. And in today's video, I'm just gonna bring y'all behind the scenes while I make my famous mac and cheese. You know what I'm saying? It's been passed down generation to generation, but you know, I'm not gonna give y'all all the all the all the sauce, all the tips and tricks, but I am going to um, you know just make it with y'all. I'm gonna cut the camera off when I put the secret ingredient in, you know, and then we're gonna just you know hop right into it. Y'all see how it goes. Y'all know I don't like narrating videos. So, the key to making mac and cheese is the chicken broth, okay? You want to add some chicken broth into your water for your noodles to boil so that it can have flavor. Sometimes I just boil it in the chicken broth. Sometimes I don't even add any water at all. I just have the chicken broth boiling in the pot and I boil the noodles. But my dad, see, he can't have all that salt, so I got the low sodium, 34% less sodium, and I don't put salt in my water because I love him. He's also in the live studio audience. So if you hear a laugh, the gang's all awake, okay? It is. That was extra dramatic. Uh, the gang's all awake. Maybe here. he'll make, they'll make a cameo. They'll make a cameo in and out of the video. Actually, I can't even open this. Maddie. Why is Maddie the first person you call and she's breaking? I'm sitting right here. Yes. Oh, Maddie, wait. Can you turn the little battery off? What cabinet? They close the door to the pantry. Close the door to the pantry, even though it's not in the video, please. I can't even open this. Y'all can see it's pitch black outside. It's literally the day before we need the mac and cheese, but we're meal prepping because everyone's gonna be in the kitchen and it's not giving everyone in the kitchen together because I need a full I need a full spread, you know what I'm saying? Thank you, Maddie. So right now, I'm just gonna pour this into the pots, the pots. Also, I have to the pot to flavor the water, you know? A good little splashy splash. And we're just gonna wait for the water to boil here. Y'all like my apron? It was on, it was on Prime. I ordered it last night off Impulse. Let's <laughs> You're ruining my production. Literally. Yeah. Would Simba it be cage. a video without Simba? Come here. Cage. Get in your cage. This is my real life. I'm not cutting any of this off. Cage. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Yes, yeah, so I will link this apron down below. I ordered it last night. She even calls it panic buying. I call it Amazon priming. You know? <laughs> so, yes. We also have a Simba. Hush. It's the dishwasher. We have a bowl here because we're going to mix our milk. Oh, that's what I forgot in the fridge. Our milk, our eggs, and um, the salt and pepper. I mix that into a bowl. So we're going to grab our milk here and we're going to mix it into a bowl because after I finish boiling the noodles and I pour them in, Daddy wants you. After I finish boiling the noodles and I pour it into the pan, I then cover it with the egg and milk and all that. And so that's what we're gonna do, okay? So once the noodles finish boiling, then I'll come back. I do, this side, the left side. Y'all wanna see me? That's fine. All right, y'all, so now we are having our water. Well, it's like barely boiling. It's hot. But it's not like hot enough. It feels like it's boiling, but there's no boiling. It's about to get there. But anyways, the chicken broth gives the noodles the flavor, right? So we're just gonna take our elbow noodles and we're gonna pour it in. I'm gonna pour it in now. I'm 
We're just making one large pan of mac and cheese. So one box is enough. Sometimes I do one and a half, depending on the setting, but you know, I just feel like reading the audience, reading the crowd of tomorrow, we only need one box. So, yeah. <laughs> Greetings, the audience of the crowd tomorrow. She wants to say what Not the strainer I was looking for, but we're gonna make it do what it do, baby. We're gonna strain these noodles. Yeah. 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 Oh yes. style cheese blend as well as sharp cheddar so i like to leave with this and then top it off with the sharp cheddar because when you dip in you get the sharp cheddar first we also have butter we're gonna put that in there i'm gonna mix the eggs and the milk together in this bowl like i told y'all and then we'll pour it in there and move on with our lives okay the oven is already preheated. We ain't gotta worry about that, sweetheart. Generous amount of butter. Yep. Because the noodles are so hot, it melts the butter down. I used to put butter or olive oil at the bottom of the pot, but then I learned quickly, it doesn't really matter. Also, I like to um, keep some of the pasta water, like don't drain it completely so where the noodles are dry, keep some of the pasta water in the mac and cheese just to keep your noodles moisturized. And y'all see how the steam from the noodles already breaking down that butter? That's what you want, okay? You don't want a glob of butter in one part of your mac and cheese, okay? I used to make that mistake. I used to just throw it in the middle, mix it up, and then I would go to dip in and it would taste like there was no seasoning on the outside. So yeah, don't make the same mistake I did. And I salt and pepper and season salt that guy. Turn, I like a lot of pepper. Pepper. Salt. Not too much, like I told y'all about my daddy. And um, Lari's. Okay, you want to season your noodles before you put anything else in them because when you put the milk in them, it's going to kind of pull the seasoning out so it won't be as, uh, what's the word I want to use? Potent in regards to flavors. So that's why, another key is why you want to boil the noodles in um, chicken broth 
Simba, come here. Away from the door. Just have a seat. Gosh, why is she like this? <laughs> On the couch. This is the most realistic we have ever made. <laughs> now my dad talking to me. I'm moving the camera around. My co-star is right here. Eye me down. At least I remember to put the oven on. <laughs> All right, there's a toaster. I'm just close up so I can see. Oh. These are large brown eggs, but it really doesn't matter what kind of eggs you use as long as they're eggs, okay? Like, please, don't overcomplicate your life. Like I'm about to overcomplicate mine trying to open it. Okay, there it goes. That was great. That was awesome. That was totally wicked. Did you get that? And the way that I prioritized holding the camera steady versus reacting is actually crazy. That's awesome. Move him. <laughs> oh my god. That was great. Honestly, like that was you know? actually great. To be quite what real, you know? yeah. Take two, folks. Literally. Thank you so much. Quit looking them across the floor. One more. You put eggs in your mac and cheese? Mm -mm. No? Nope. Move them. She's like literally like, oh yes. Move. Crazy how you can have so many recipes of one item mm -hmm. and then all tastes good. Yeah. Yeah. Love that for us. Oh, we're moving. Haha. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Putting your egg and milk mixture in before you put in your mac your cheese. Are you ready? Go for it. Honestly, y'all, I normally I would have so much more to say to y'all, but like honestly, I'm like half awake. But that's okay. That's just how we are here. So, I'm gonna add the secret ingredient in, and then I will come back when it's time for the cheese. Okay, y'all can't see all this stuff. Okay, you gotta be a Stewart or a Miller side of the family to know this part. Okay. Oh God. So you never want to skint with the cheese, okay? The cheese is like the most important part because you put so much milk and egg in there. You want it to be equal, okay? So first I just cover it and then I mix it up and then I go back in with the second layer with the sharp cheddar. But I like to get the Mexican blend because it has... Um, all the cheeses, not just one. It does have sharp cheddar in there, but it's not like emphasized. So you want to mix it up, make sure that it's equally distributed, you know, all that good stuff, all that good stuff. Make sure like if you're stirring it and you can still see milk at the bottom, you don't have enough cheese because the cheese will soak up the milk. Okay. 
Sometimes I have to add more milk because I'll be loading up with cheese, but we don't play. But yeah, this is pretty self-explanatory. Starting up the mac and cheese thinking, wow, this time next year I'll be cooking in my house. That's crazy. Cause I'll still be on the lease, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, man. Put milk in it? Nope. No milk in your mac and cheese? Mm -mm. My um mom Well not no, I lied. Milk. Yeah, it's evaporated. I'm like that? No. Can milk. But mixed in with the cheese sauce, like not directly mm -hmm. into mm -hmm. the pan. Like I'm doing. It. Yeah, no. That's why I was like, no, I don't do that. But yeah, no, we put a little we put a little milk in that guy, just a little bit. Oh yeah, my mouth is watering. I can see it already. Oh wow, mom. Yeah, you don't do that down there, do you? What y'all be doing? Please oh, you wanna know. Please. I was like, I can't believe Corey sent this one out. Like, I can't. Like, I, I was, I was like, you I guys can't are actually crazy. No, you're crazy. No, like, y'all like, are crazy. You said, excuse me. We thought you literally was like, yeah. Good luck with that. Y'all are crazy. Literally, we're sitting in the menu, and you're just like, hmm, dang. Guess they just want to for the fucking supper. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I really did. I was like, oh. I don't know what's going on here. Meanwhile, we're like, just you don't want to. I'm crying actually. Glad we had this song. This is definitely not what it was going through my mind at all. Seriously. You're literally a pop announced girl. <laughs> I gave you some mama. Hold on. You know you're lactose. Jesus Christ. Just a little bit. And I heard the baby. This is why you want to go upstairs with John T. Like, um, I see folks in the kitchen. Mm-hmm. The book. I used to skip the corners when I used to make this. Oh wow. Yeah. Big mistake. And usually I use paprika on top, not season salt, but we don't have any, so season salt will have to do. <laughs> All right. I just like when the cheese melts and it has like the red. We gotta have the paprika, bro. You know? 
felt. Huh? Yeah, got footage, babe. Okay. Wow, thank you. Yeah, got footage, babe. Okay. Wow, thank you. Oh, sorry, son. I forgot already about you. Okay, it's okay, Mom. I didn't forget. Now we're going to set our timer for 45 minutes. And that'll do it, folks. Oh wow, focus just totally sabotaged us, but whatever. Mm-hmm, yes sir, for sure you're right on. And then we're going to add it on a plate, and that's it. Like, comment, and subscribe.